Welcome to this video where I test the giant squirrel maze that I built. This was inspired by a Mark Rober video where he made an obstacle course for squirrels. One of those obstacles was a maze that the squirrels made look easy. They made every obstacle look easy, but this one, they made it look really easy. So I thought, wow. In Mark's video, the squirrels do every single physical challenge like it's not even there. So what if there was a real mental challenge? Don't get me wrong, I love Mark Rober. He's one of my favorite YouTubers. But I just wanted to take a deeper dive into squirrels moving through a maze. If you want to see more about the construction of the maze, I'll include a link to the build video below. We encouraged squirrels to enter the maze by leaving peanuts right inside the entrance. They would reach in and then eat them on the railing. Eventually, we got them to go inside the maze. At first, they were a little jumpy. This one gets spooked by a hawk's call. But they got almost every peanut from the beginning. They missed that one. Of course, squirrels weren't the only animals that liked the free handout. Just as I was beginning to worry the maze might be a little daunting for them, this champ makes a near perfect run. So you might be thinking, how do they get out? Well, my idea was that they would have to go all the way back through the maze, but this squirrel uh, just slid right between the wall and the window screen material on the outside. <laughs> I've been outsmarted. But I had a trick up my sleeve, which is that the whole maze spins. There's an axle in the center, and the whole thing is free spinning. Before, we had blocks on either side of the maze to keep it from spinning. But now, Woo, baby! <laughs> I was pretty excited when it first worked. But now the squirrels are up to the task, so let's, let's see how they do. Now that the maze is spinning, squirrels are a little less eager to get inside. Oh, oh, hold up, run it back, run it back. Right as the squirrel enters the maze, their weight shifts the whole thing. The log falls. Squirrel says, no, the whole thing's moving. I'm out. At this point, you might be thinking, I want to see a squirrel complete the maze while it's spinning. And they're giving it valiant efforts. I think they just have to send it. They have to dive in. And it seems like that's what this one is doing. They really do a remarkable job adjusting to the floor beneath them, spinning around and becoming the ceiling. Wait, wait, <laughs> did that squirrel just face plant? <laughs> yeah, he did do a subtle face plant, but he got right back up. He's chilling. So close. Sees the exit, thinks maybe I can get out. A little disoriented. I would be. But then they found it. They found it. Thankfully the basket spins with the maze if it needs to, so no danger there for the squirrel. Here, just enjoying the prize when another squirrel pops up <laughs> and spins the whole maze. All the peanuts fall out of the basket. Like, what the heck, man? This is a squirrel from about halfway through the maze trying to get out. And given how fast the maze is spinning, doing an incredible job. Boom. Done. Free. And then instead of hopping off, she just rides it down. <laughs> so graceful. In summary, I am super impressed with squirrels. 
They are ninjas, not only physically, but mentally as well. Thank you so much for watching. Have a wonderful rest of your day.